Game two of the NBA Finals is on Sunday, and the Miami Heat will look to even the series at one to one. Welcome to Bally Sports. My name is Sandeep Singh, and I'm joined by Scoopy Robinson. Scoop, Kevin Love didn't play in game one. I think they need to play him a little bit more in this series to match up with Denver's size. That was something we we both talked about um, that Miami was lacking in game one. Would you agree? Where is the love? Where is the love? You need Kevin Love in order to make that happen. Bam Adebayo seemingly struggled uh, defensively against uh, Nikola Jokic. Uh, Cody Zeller is not cutting it defensively, offensively at all. So, yeah, I think Kevin Love was definitely part of the problem. The other part is the jumpers weren't falling their way. Uh, Gabe can't do it by himself. Jimmy can't do it by himself. And uh, I also think Martin was nowhere to be found. So they got to regroup in game two to make something happen. Yeah, definitely going to have to be a collective effort. You know, Kevin Love uh, coming into the series said that he understood why uh, Eric Spolstra went away from him in the Boston series. You know, Boston went small after game one. And it's, a, you know, NBA in the playoffs, it's all about matchups. And, you know, the adjustments were made and he understood that wasn't his time. But I think in this series, it is going to be his time because... We saw in game one, Aaron Gordon and Michael, Michael Porter Jr. You know, were getting theirs and they were getting them easy. And you can't go with a small lineup against this Denver team. The Lakers learned that the hard way and they had size too. So if Miami's going to want to have any chance, you know, guys like Kevin Love are going to have to play more in that series. But, you know, you mentioned Bam Adebayo. He was fantastic on, on offense, but somebody who wasn't was Jimmy Butler. So what does he need to do better in game two? Just play like Jimmy Butler. I think superstars or stars like that figure it out after watching tape. I don't think I, I, I have to really say too much, but I, I'll add this. Um, I also think that in order for Miami to do well, you got to limit Nikola Jokic. Do you keep him out of the paint? Do you keep him off the free throw line? Do you put a hand in his face? I mean, he's the total package and his minimal weakness is there. But I think in order to kind of uh, counteract what Nikola Jokic does, you have to frustrate him on the, off the double team and force him to pass the ball to someone who can't shoot as well. Who is that? Is it is it KCP? No. Is it Jamal Murray? No. I just think there's a counteract for every act. So I think in order for the, the Heat to be effective, I do think they need to kind of uh, be on Jokic like white on rice, but at the same time, try to limit um, Murray's ability to get to the cup as well. They were hitting any shot they wanted in that game. And Jokic looked like Shaq in the post. You know that's not supposed to happen. Hey, I mean, a two-time MVP, I can't argue against him. He's been he's been looking like himself throughout this, uh, this whole playoffs, right? And I think for the Heat, um, you know, it's crazy because in, in game one, they only gave up 104 points, which is not a lot to a hot Denver team. They did a good job of getting back in transition, only gave up five offensive rebounds, but Denver just made more shots than them in that game. So I think this game, like you have to make things harder. And it starts with Nikola Jokic getting more physical with him and not letting him get to his spots, keeping him out of the paint. I know it's easier said than done, but Eric Spolster is a Hall of Fame coach, so I expect him to make the proper adjustments moving forward. And we should be in store for a better game, too. For all your NBA Finals coverage, keep it locked right here on Bally Sports.